स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास टेन टूडेज लेसन इज द यूनाइटेड नेशंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन फर्स्ट पॉइंट एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस सेकेंड कॉजेज ऑफ द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट थर्ड कॉम्पोजिशन फोर्थ फंक्शंस एंड फिफ्थ एम्स Now, first one, establishment of the United Nations. Why was the United Nations established? You know, the United Nations was established with a view to establish permanent peace throughout the whole world. On the uh, during the midst of the Second World War. That means in middle of 1945, just after the end of the Second World War, that organization was established because all everyone wanted to see peace, solidarity, brotherhood, understanding, lasting friendship among themselves. Two world wars: the First World War and the Second World War destroyed destroyed the entire world. After First World War, everyone thought that Second World War would never would never uh, uh, start because of the League of Nations. But the League failed to stop another world war, the Second World War. why because the members of the league themselves non cooperated non cooperated with the aims and objectives of the league that's why league of nations failed to achieve success and second world war started the beautiful and well lit out cities with centuries of history had been bombed beyond the recognition restructuration and the reconstruction them was a very hard task that was going to take ages since many cities of europe were totally destroyed totally demolished due to the second world war in some cases it would not even be possible to reconstruct the that very cities everybody had just one thought on their minds never again people were exhausted with war they had faced two major wars with a span of 21 years and with each other the destruction was you know greater and this was the basic purpose for the formation of the un legas also took at some other you know important reasons for the formation of the international organization the united nations the united nations was the united nations organizations organizations was established with a view to solve permanent solution of different countries of the world at the end of the second world war many countries of the world they lost the glory and image of their countries because they were fully destroyed by the sophisticated weapons used by the allied powers and axis powers during the second world war now they took a note that there should be a strong international political organization for them which could protect them from any kind of danger for that reason the world leaders they established the united nations organization in order to establish permanent peace permanent peace international understanding brotherhood international cooperation for each other this organization was established now next one causes for the establishment of 
that very organization. What were the causes behind it? There were certain causes behind it. Destruction of the destruction caused by the Second World War. You know, so many cities, so many towns were totally destroyed, destructed. Due to this destruction, millions of people died, died of explosion of bombs. Millions had died and many had been rendered homeless during the Second World War. The world was reeling under the problems of displaced people, atomic explosion and shattered cities. The Second World War was a self-created, you know, catastrophe which no one wanted to repeat. The world leaders began to think of ways to stop any recurrence of such a conflict. They wanted to create a political environment of permanent world peace. Due to destruction of property, due to destruction of lives, due to destruction of a number of cities and towns, due to, uh, you know, uh, destruction of, uh, destruction of uh, human settlements, The Second World War had become a great, great sin in the life of human beings. That's why people decided to stop the horrors of other World War, the Third World War. The horrors of the atomic, atomic bombs which were uh, thrown on two uh, popular cities of Japan, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Prove that human, how much, how human beings could become, how much inhuman. This in that in, inhuman practice led by America, and that in, inhuman practice of Japan led by uh, led by japan on the people of america suddenly changed the circumstances of the second world war earlier america had no intention to join the second world war but it was japan who forced america to join the second world war Why? Because of the Pearl Harbor incident and the death of many, many Americans. That's why, my dear students, the situation was totally changed due to the Second World War and due to the reason America joined the Second World War. Due to the destruction of people, property of America in the explosion of Pearl Harbor by Japan, America decided to join the Second World War. Though the history, the history of the Second World War could be written in another form. It could have been written in another form if Japan, if Japan not committed any mistake, not threw any bomb on the Pearl Harbor port of America. But suddenly the course of the Second World War, Second World War was changed due to the explosion on Pearl Harbor and the revenge against Japan. America took the revenge on Japan by throwing two bombs on Hiroshima, two bombs of the two popular cities of Japan, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world leaders now began to think the ways to stop any kind of, any kind of conflict so that the environment, the political environment of the world, 
would become peace, peaceful. They find they found out permanent permanent peace, permanent world peace. That's why that organization, the United Nations organization, was established. Second point, third point. Third point, composition, composition, the world trust and confidence among the nations, the United Nations organization was established because of the reason as I mentioned earlier, the world leaders began to think of another world organization while the event was formally inaugurated only in October 1945. Its idea was planned in 1941 in London. Now how was it established? Let us discuss. Representatives of Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and South Africa met in London and proposed the idea of an international organization that would replace the United Nations. They wanted a stronger and better organized body that would control the Iran nations better. Iran nations better. It was due to that reason. US President Roosevelt in the year 1941 and British Prime Minister Churchill issued a joint declaration on August 1945, 14th August 1945 at the Atlantic Conference in Newfoundland to exist the war and how peace could be sustained. The declaration came to be known as the Atlantic Charter. That very Atlantic Charter was signed between U.S. President Franklin, Franklin Delamo Roosevelt and, uh, and British Prime Minister Winston Churchill. They issued that very joint declaration mentioning that there would be permanent peace throughout the whole world and under that declaration there should be one political, international political organization. So under that circumstances, they found out that very idea and ultimately realized it when it was established in the year 1945. Another declaration also was signed, that was the Washington Declaration. Okay, what is Washington Declaration? What is Washington Declaration here? I have written something, composition, functions, ends, but today, I decided to teach other points instead of composition, functions and ends. So instead of composition, instead of functions, instead of ends, now I am going to teach you other points, otherwise you will be unable to understand the basic concept of this lesson. Now what I am going to teach you, first I am instead of this one, I am going to teach you the London Declaration. Now I am writing it in the book, please let me write it on the board. The London Declar the London Declaration and next one Origin of the Event Origin of the UN Origin of the Event The London Declaration Origin of the Event and last of all the Atlantic Charter Washington Declaration The Atlantic Charter, the Washington 
declaration the washington declaration so these are the points for today these are the points now i am going to clarify it. first point origin of the event i mentioned it earlier what were the origins of the event what are the origins of the event already i have mentioned it i have clarified it. what were the origins of the event what what was the origin of the event under what circumstances had the united nations organization established the first all organization the league of nations you know the first world organization was the league of nations it was established with a view to stop the another world war but it failed to stop the horrors of the second world war second world war took place in the year 1939 but the world leaders realized that the organization was ineffective the league of nations was ineffective because it could not control the member states perfectly most of the member states had no respect for the league of nations and its programs and as a result america herself could not become the member of the league of nations and ultimately league of nations was rejected by the world leaders and the countries of different different world different uh, countries of different parts of the world so it was nothing but a total failure the world leaders then began to think of another world organization which would would be more and more effective than the previous one while the un was formally inaugurated only in october 1945 October 1945 and its ideas was planted in the year 1945 as i mentioned earlier that idea of establishing other international organization was planted in the year 1941 by two world leaders president of america franklin delano roosevelt and prime minister of england prime minister of britain Winston Churchill both of them sat together and signed one declaration according to that very declaration it was decided that in the long run there would be an another international organization for establishing permanent peace throughout the whole world and they signed it in the form of a charter and that very charter came to be known as the Atlantic Charter it was signed in August it was signed on August 1941 this declaration came to be known as the Atlantic Charter and another declaration also was signed after the Atlantic Charter the world leaders you know that is Atlantic Charter and then Washington Washington declaration what is this the world the world united nations was first used in the washington declaration in january 1942 when the allied powers met and uh, decided to uh, defeat decided to uh, choke out a plan to establish a new new international organization on the basis and principles of the atlantic charter so it was also decided not to sign any treaties or hold separate talks with enemy countries why so that they would establish another organization so there would be a, a, a tussle between the two organizations they would gain uh, confidence because the world war was not ended it was going on right that moment they found out that idea that's why the world leaders who uh, who were present uh, in the washington who were present in order to uh, sign the washington declaration in the year 1942 they thought that they decided that they decided not to sign any treaties or hold separate talks with enemy countries 
they did not want to um, you know uh, disclose their planning and they remained silent so what did they do was a top secret top secret matter and only uh, only by making such a such a program by making such an by make, by find, by finding out such uh, idea the world leaders especially america and england america and britain they played an important role in setting up another world international world or world in another international political organization the united nations next day the remaining part of this lesson will be continued up to this moment